Can't have much left. Well, there you go. Well, viewers, as you can tell, I'm a professional. I'm fully qualified with all the tickets. And all the tickets are on myself. Now, obviously this is a very shitty bit of wood. Let's get my tuning screwdriver in here. Got a bit of, got a bit of pith in there. Bit of rot. Uh, bullshit. I think that's, uh, that comes straight from Canberra, that. Um, bad ergonomics of cack handed, left handed, uh, ass up, cutting here. And not a real good uh, situation. But anyhow, this is um, very hard wood, and it was a test to see how the The super powerful home light. This is a 58 cc, so it's the big bore, big block. Um, but has it's got a, a 20, 24 inch 325, and I think that's actually a Husqvarna bar. Um, I did try this format with a seven, a, a nine pin drive here, but it just didn't have the oomph, so it's back to a standard. Seven. Um, it seems to have the grunt, but this I need a titanium or tungsten chain for this wood because it'll cut. Um, but only whilst I'm doing the old pivot cut on the bloody button spikes. So and that's a brand new chain. I think I've may have touched it up with a file. I can't recall, but. It's not too bad, it's sort of half, half sharp now. But all this um, all this kind of debris in here, you don't know what you got in here. Um, you know, it could be dirt, could be stones, and of course that just shags the chain. But I wanted to get that off as a slab to um, see how it goes. So that was just a quick test cut on a big cutter bar. Because you've got to keep in mind that these things, we only got them here with a 16 inch bar. So, you know, yay. So, there you go. I did try the Pioneer Home Light, uh, Pioneer Holiday, but um, it's got a fuel problem. It seems to be getting. I've undone the high and low jets and I just can't get enough juice into it, so I need to uh, pull the carby off of that one. Alright, so I'm happy enough with this one. I'll go and get the next one. <laughs>